One of the first big checks that I wrote was to Uncle Sam. Ooh. Man. <laughs> that hurt. What's up, GQ Sports? My name is James Bradbury. I play cornerback for the New York Giants, and this is how I spent my first million dollars. I'm from a small city, Pleasant Grove, around Birmingham, Alabama. It's low key, small area. Everyone kind of knows everyone there. Also, I grew up in a single parent household. Uh, my mom, she took care of me and my sister. So my mom, she kept us busy. Uh, we played a lot of sports. I played football and basketball, but she also helped me with my spending habits. You know, she always taught me to uh, save money for a rainy day. Yeah, I started playing football around the age of eight. I also went to the Boys and Girls Club. That's where I also spent a lot of my time. So I would always pass the football field, and she told me I would always uh, beg her and complain about how I wanted to play football and whatnot. So eventually she took me out there, and the rest was history. So my rookie, um, like the base salary, I think was like 450, uh, but my signer bonus was 1.1 million. Well, you can see the first details of my rookie deal right here. So we talked about how I made my first million dollars. Now let's talk about how I spent my first million dollars. Uh, my first check that I wrote was for my Audi A7. It was customized too. Well, that's the funny story about the uh, Audi A7. So uh, my actual first car was a Challenger. And I ended up getting that car because my teammate that I got drafted with, and which is a close friend of mine, he bought the Audi A7 first. And he wasn't supposed to get that car. Uh, we had, because we had talked about it. He was supposed to get like A5. I was supposed to get the A7. But then he pulled up one day and got the A7. So I ended up buying the Challenger. But I, then I traded it in. And then I got my A7, because A7 is my dream car. My second big purchase is about 200000 towards my family. I paid off my uh, family home. My uh, sister's tuition was included in that. Uh, I also bought my mom my Audi Q7. Our family, we like Audis. Uh, shout out to Audi. Tuition was uh, 15000 The home was about seventy, and then the AAU expenses and the fun that we had as a family was the rest. It's a pretty nice house, you know, I can't really say it. I grew up in a bad neighborhood. I grew up in a good neighborhood. It was a real nice neighborhood. I had some family and friends come over to my home in Pleasant Grove. That's where we was watching the draft, and um, my phone started going off in my pocket, and it was a 704 area number, Charlotte area number. Like, my heart kind of stopped a little bit, and then I answered it, and they told me I was getting drafted, so I rushed back into the living room, and I saw my name come across the ticker, and then it kind of went crazy from there. It was surreal. My third purchase was I spent 15K on rookie duties, unfortunately. So after training camp, we had to take all the vets on the team to Best Buy. I ended up spending about 11K on my veteran teammates. Shout out to them. Rookie duties is, I wouldn't call it hazing. It's paying it forward to the vets because they take you on their wing. They teach you the ways of the NFL. Just being a pro on the field and off the field, you know, whatever system you're in, you got to learn the system. Just taking care of your body. I learned a lot from uh, guys like Mike Adams, Captain Munnerlyn, Kurt Coleman. So it's kind of just paying it forward to them. And it's the same way when you move on and you become a veteran, you know. I spent about 3K um, at my rookie dinner. Um, that was at the end of the night. But of course, after training camp, that was my biggest bill, was taking them to Best Buy, which was 11K. So that was that was the craziest part, you know. It was really, really mad in there. And you have to take a picture with them at the end. So you had guys in there um, bragging about how they was buying washers and dryers for their new home, buying microwaves, vacuums, big TVs. I, mean, I definitely knew about agent fees. Um, you talk about that when, you, when you're selected agent. I wasn't really good with percentages, so I didn't understand how much it was as far as percentage-wise. Of course, it sounds like a low number, but it's, it's kind of costly. So I met my agent through uh, Facebook. He slid into my DMs, you know, on Facebook. Um, but that's usually how agents get in contact with you, uh, through DMs on Twitter, maybe Facebook, or through a scout. So that's typically how it works. At least that's how it works for me. That's how everyone was reaching out to me. But it was it was cool though, like out of all the agents that I met with, me and him kind of connected off rip. You know, our first phone call, we was probably on the phone probably 45 to an hour, you know, just talking about life. We weren't even, we wasn't even talking about football. I would say my next expense was kind of like a wardrobe upgrade. I spent 25K on that. It just kind of happened over time, you know, throughout those four years. Because when I came into the league, I would say my wardrobe was probably at a mean, yeah, it was probably like at a two. By the time I got to maybe year three, year four, 
Oh, I got a six. But also, I bought like a, I bought some jewelry. I had bought a chain that was about 5K, and also a tennis chain that was about three, four. I like shoes. Um, I play, I play defensive back, so you got to take care of your feet. You got to always have some comfortable shoes on. So designer shoes and um, and clothes that add up to the rest of it. It increased from what I just said to about 70K when I got to my second deal with the New York Giants. I bought some tennis chains and the diamonds were a little bit more really. I had to upgrade on, on the diamonds and stuff, so I spent about 70K uh, going into my second contract. And, I, and also uh, watches too, so I bought two watches, real, real nice watches. So those, those added up into that, that 70K as well. I'm a watch guy now, I feel like. You know, I'm very into watches. And I've always kind of been into watches, but I liked more so like diesel watches and stuff when I was in uh, school and also like my rookie year. But now that I have a little bit more money in my pocket, you know, I decided I wanted to upgrade my watch game as well. It's not very flashy, but like people that know jewelry, they, they notice it, you know? So I say 30K in entertainment and vacations. Been to the Bahamas, uh, DC, Atlanta. My biggest purchase or check that I wrote was probably in Miami. You know, everything in Miami is expensive. The best place I traveled was Bahamas. That's definitely something I want to do more now on is uh, go outside the country. Um, and I feel like you get more of a culture feel if you go outside of the country. And you also uh, get a different perspective when you go visit other countries, you know? They have different things that's going on in their, their, uh, their culture and in their society that you should be aware of because it just gives you a different perspective. I gave this uh, money to my church back home. I grew up in this church since I was born. You know, now my mom's a preacher at this church. And of course in the Bible it says give 10% back. 50K probably isn't 10%, but over time I'm eventually give 10%. That's my goal. But that was one of the reasons why I decided to get back to the church, you know. One of the first big checks that I wrote was to Uncle Sam. That was 400K out of my rookie deal. And I didn't have a choice but to write that one. Like I said, I became more aware of percentages and stuff when I got into the NFL, because before then I wasn't making a whole lot. So when I first got my first check and I opened it up and I seen how much it was versus how much I thought it was gonna be, the first thing I did was call my agent. I was like, where's the rest of my check? <laughs> but he was just explaining to me, man, you gotta pay taxes, you know? That's the part of uh, making all this money. That's the part of uh, this economy. You gotta pay taxes. Ooh. Man, <laughs> that hurt. Man, it's so easy to do when you're swiping a card, you feel me? But now that I actually see like how much I spent, I can kind of see it, see it. That's why like with my second deal, like I try to invest more. It's making me more aware of how I spend my money and whatnot. This is going to people that help our community, like police officers, teachers, I mean, I guess government employees. It goes to them and they, they help our community and our society go around. So I, I'm very appreciative of them. My home that I, I purchased, uh, that was 750, so that's kind of over. But I, I built a home going into my fourth year, um, and it kind of worked out too, because COVID had hit. You couldn't leave the house anyways. It was hard for uh, us as players to go work out because a lot of gyms had to be closed. So fortunately, I had a gym downstairs that I was able to work out at, so I was able to still get it in, still be able to be in shape and whatnot. And also, I had a down downstairs an entertainment area. You know, I go down there, my friends would come over, just hang out. You know, we didn't have to go out to do anything. Uh, that's back back in Birmingham, so that's where I spend my off season at. Yeah, so like I have a daughter now, so it felt good being able to get back to my mom. I actually got her a house too this off season. That's 650. So she's moving on to a bigger and better home. She can't wait to move in. Now that I have my daughter, I can kind of see like how much hard work she put in to raising me and my sister and how hard it was. So being able to do that for her and being able to see that smile on her face, it really meant a lot to me. I think I've diversified how I spent my money pretty well. Like I've had some fun, which you definitely got to enjoy the fruits of your labor. I got that from my agent. When I first got in the league, I was all about saving. I was scared to spend my money. You also have to give back. You know, you also got to take care of the people that took care of you, so. I feel pretty good on how I spent my first meal, you know? I wish I would have invested more with my rookie deal, more so than just trying to save money, because now I kind of understand how money works and how inflation works. You gotta have your money working for you instead of just sitting in the bank, you know? It's not doing anything sitting in the bank. My advice to the next generation of uh, rookies and stuff, uh, enjoy your money. You know, it comes and as you can see, it goes fast. Diversify, you know, just don't spend it all on jewelry and clothes and stuff. Also, give back and um, invest. 
Thanks for tuning in and uh, watching how I made and also spent my first million. Tune in also to the season, Go Big Blue.